Chroma subsampling, what is it and why does it matter? Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to High Tech Tense. Computers deal with RGB color spaces, mixing red, green, and blue combinations to render on-screen colors. But RGB isn't suitable for storage and transmissions as it carries redundancy. Thankfully, human perceptions can be fooled with a technique known as chroma subsampling. It's a type of compressions for still images and video that discards some color information without degrading the perceived visual quality. This helps reduce the file size and bandwidth usage. Follow along with us to learn how chroma subsampling works, how various sampling modes affect image quality, and how to best configure your devices. What is chroma subsampling? What does it do? The human visual systems has a much lower understanding of changes in color differences than brightness. Chroma subsampling leverages this fact by reducing the amount of color information in a source signal to allow more luminous data instead. In other words, color components are sampled at a lower resolution than brightness. Reducing color information allows a video signal to travel efficiently via limited bandwidth HDMI cables and over the internet. Because your eye is far less sensitive to color than brightness, you won't perceive a major quality difference when enjoying your favorite movies. Chroma subsampling is also used in JPEG encoding. RGB versus YUV versus YCBCR. In a digital video and photography, the brightness component or luma is usually denoted Y. The color data consists of two different components, CB and CR. Their combinations, known as YCBCR, is what defines the colors you see on the screen. Imaging devices, such as video cameras, use composite analog signals, which can be digitally encoded as YCBCR. Because projection devices like TVs and the phone in your pocket deal with RGB instead, they convert the digital YCBCR signal back to the RGB color space before displaying images. Common Types of Chroma Subsampling The YCBCR color space supports several chroma subsampling schemes expressed as an A-B-C ratio. A is the horizontal width of the sampled region in pixels, B denotes the number of chrominance samples in the first row, and C denotes vertical sampling. For example, the 422 scheme defines a segment of 4 pixels horizontally in two rows. It samples 4 luma elements and mixes them with 2 chroma ones. 444, 422, and 420. What's the difference? The following are the most common combinations for chroma subsampling. 444 is used for an uncompressed signal without color reductions. You get full horizontal and vertical color resolutions without quality loss. There's also 4444, where the fourth 4 is transparency channel. 422 has half the chroma of 444, cutting the horizontal color resolutions in half compared with Luma. It decreases the file size of an uncompressed signal by one-third, with little to no compression artifacts. As such, 422 is often used in gaming and professional video formats like Digital Betacam, DVC Pro 50, and MPEG-2. There is little advantage to using the 444 sampling for media. This is why most digital video cameras and many Blu-rays movies use 420 encoding. And for those times when you need to export a video from Premiere Pro on your computer, popular video codecs such as MPEG-1, MPEG-2, and H.261, 263 all supports 420 as well. How to test for chroma subsampling? The simplest way to check for chroma subsampling would be a digital test card built into your TV known as a startup test or test pattern. Turning this feature on in the settings of your TV will output a set of patterns and calibrated color bars. The colored bars on your TV not only let you check whether chroma subsampling is used, but also ensures that the output is true to color and tone according to the original signal. If you can find these options, Google chroma subsampling test patterns or use a chroma test image provided by Artings. Open this picture on a computer or view it on your TV. Be sure to set the scaling to 100% before looking for characteristical artifacts such as fuzzy text, edges, color bleed, and blurring of lines and text. If none are present, your TV uses the no compressions 444 sampling mode. 